Alright guys, welcome to another episode of the Coin King video. Today is February 23rd, 2021. Uh, before I get things started, be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Coin King, uh, when you have a moment. And catch some of my old videos um, if you like. Uh, as you can see, I've done plenty of videos and I'm doing just about every week or every other day. Well, I try to, that is. But be sure to hit the subscribe button and like some of my videos when you have a chance. And I just want to disclose, <clears throat> before I go any further, that I am not your financial advisor. Always do your own research and due diligence before you invest in any cryptos or stocks or anything or whatever. Like I said, I'm not your financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment. And, uh, you know, it, it's up to you to you do your own research and make your own decision. Because this is your life. Okay, this is your world, all right, and you can, you know, you're free to do whatever the hell you want, all right? Buy, sell, trade, I don't care, but I am not your financial advisor, okay? So, anyway, let's go ahead and get things started um, and take a look at, uh, before I go further, also I want to mention that be sure to hit up zversity.com when you get a chance. If you're looking to learn anything new, you want to learn Java programming, HTML, CSS, web designing, uh, cybersecurity, whatever. It's free on zversity.com. So visit anytime you want. Um, you can just, you know, like I said, learn. Like knowledge is power. All right. So anyway, that's it. So let's look at the market on bitmarketdaily.com for today, February 23rd. And of course, as you all know, when you probably woke up this morning, the market is uh, pretty much... Uh, you know, like crash pretty big, right? I mean, you're looking at right now the market cap. Let's zoom in right quick. Um, 1.4 uh, trillion dollars. Um, so that is not 1.4 trillion is 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 not that bad. You know, it's still damn good. It's not even considered to be in a bear market, in my opinion. Is we we are not in a bear market. We're still in a bull market. It's just a, uh, you know, some dip. Um, you know, it is a common thing that you're seeing right now. I mean, you haven't seen a really, really bad dip until you experienced from 2017 and 2018 and 2019. Now, 28 and 2019 and some in 2020, that was the worst bear market ever. I don't think we're there yet. Um, you know, I think this is basically a just a pullback. Um, but I know a lot of y'all probably freaking out. Bitcoin, I mean, let's look at it right right quick, all right? Bitcoin trading at 48,000, which what, six, seven days ago was 48,000. And now it went up to like 58,000, I think, past few days. And now we're freaking out because it went back to 48,000. That's not considered to be a bear market. Nothing to be freaking out over, right? So Ethereum 1560, wow, you know, that's what it was $2,000 the, the, the other day. Uh, 1500 somewhat small pullback teeter a dollar binance coin 221 polka dot 34 dollars wow polka dot was 42 dollars the other day 34 now still a good time it's still a good buy on this particular coin because like i can say the next few years it's going to be two to three hundred bucks and also probably one to two thousand dollar per polka dot in the next few years i don't know the exact year but it's going to be at least two to three years i'm thinking but hey Polka dot is definitely a hole for me. I love polka dot. Cardano, 93 cents. I have some Cardano. That's uh, still a little... Everything basically traced, traced back down some today. So not a big thing, okay? Let's proceed. XRP, 47 cents. Litecoin, 175. Chainlink, 25. Bitcoin Cash, 515. Stellar, 38 cents. USD coin, dollar. Uniswap, Twenty four forty nine. Ooh, that's a good buy too. Dogecoin. Oh my goodness, four cents. Wrap BTC forty eight thousand. Uh, Nim fifty two. Ava three fifty seven. Wow, Ava has a big drop. It was over five hundred the other day. Hmm, big drop. Wow. I'm I'm sorry. I'm actually yawning. I'm I'm getting sleepy for some reason. Jesus. I knew I should make this video sooner. That's because I was up all night last night watching this damn market as it freaking plummets some. But anyway, 
what the hell was I at? Nelly Ava, I'm sorry. Set number 17, Cosmo at $19.73. Solana, 15. Whoa, Solana is going nuts. Wow. Monero, 20. 219, I'm sorry. 219. All right. So, anyway, go to bitmarketdaily.com and you get a chance to look at the, the full list if you want to. All right. It's a great website. It tells you prices in real term or real time, that is. Sorry. Um, so yeah, bitmarketdaily.com. You want to, you, you can look at news and all that stuff too. You want to get more detail or information on D5 and all this good stuff on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, uh, Coin Geico or Geico, whatever the heck it is. And then uh, they do have uh, today video. Basically, I'm just going to go a list, but uh, I'm going to discuss uh, briefly about one of the fastest growing stuff in the crypto market. Not only because this year is the year that DeFi, but this year is also the year of NFTs. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the NFT. I'm just going to scroll through. This is my first time, my experience on, on Coin Geico as well, too, just to see what their list are. Um, I could go to Coin Market Cap, but I don't think I have uh, my tablet that doesn't have that particular app on here. I think it's the older version of it. So, but anyway, this is web based. Let's go ahead and take a look at the NFT, see some of the best NFT. Like I said, this is my first time really, really that I'm going to actually go through this list. And you can actually follow and look at it. And I'm just going to mention some of the ones that I believe that will take off. That I have actually experienced or had a, 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 a chance to take a peek of it uh, for the past few days. So NFT. So this is a top 100 NFT coins by market capitalization. And keep in mind, half this thing, I don't even know myself, guys. So you're just as brand new as me on this, okay? But I can tell you some of the ones like that that I actually took a peek at. And, uh, you know, of course, FlowDap. I think this just came out recently. I didn't even know they were actually even freaking NFT. Trading at $21, not bad. Engine Coin, that's been around a while for $0.45. Cents. Probably pretty good still for a good price. I think it has room to grow for Engine Coin. I'll just make a note of that because they've been around for a while. You know, projects have been around since 2017. Like I say, I always focus on projects that's been around a long time because they, you know, you got to give them respect that they've been building since then and they're still building now. So I think this run, Engine Coin can actually run. Decentraland is another example. Okay, Decentraland is always around three cents last that past few years. And now it's actually starting to move again. So I think Decentraland is a really, really good um, uh, token. And I didn't even know that actually they were... Um, uh, I didn't know that they were actually NFT, to be honest. I have no idea. Red Lab or Red Fox Lab. Never heard of it. May, like I said, I have to research 13 cents. San. I think San is one of the Binance project at 23 cents. So it's a gaming NFT type of thing, right? That's not really that bad. Uh, let me take a look here. What does it say? Oh, excuse me for a second. Market cap. Oops. Oh, speaking of that, I'm a little bit ahead. I'm going to be talking about Bondly in a second. So, San. This looked like a pretty good buy as well, too, at 23 cents. I think they had low circling supplies. Let's look at how, how much San is right quick. Take a look at San. Get a little more detail on it. Like I said, 23 cents, you're getting 20% discount for the day off. Let's quickly just go to their website right quick and just, just read up what the hell they're about. Um, so we can get a little bit more ideas uh, for 23 cents. Um, let's take a look. Maybe, what is this, shop? The Sandbox. Okay, okay, hold on. It's loading. Oh, this is this is very cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is first of all, I'm impressed already. This is my first time. Stuff that excites me, like I said, I love excitement. NFT. Oh wow. Create in your own land. This is crazy, guys. I'm already digging the sand already. I think this is this is a Binance project. I don't know what it is, but I'm really digging it. Very, very interesting. Any type of gaming NFT I'm in, I'm down with it. 
and I'm really impressed by the website itself. So, whoa, this is very, very good. Game experience. Kind of like remind me of Funfair. I, you know, like I said, I've done the video on Funfair. It's an online gaming casino, um, and it's really exciting as well. I think Funfair has a huge future, just like this sandbox. So let's take a look. Let's go take a look at more detail as far as their supply and all that stuff. Because this is a very interesting for twenty three cent. This is ridiculous. What's the all time low? Two pennies? Oh, where was I when this thing came with two pennies? All time high thirty six cents. So you're getting discount twenty percent today. And what's the circulating supply? Does it say on here? Okay, here it is. Circling supply. Low market cap, 158 million. Circling supply, only 668 million. 3 billion, I guess that's the max supply. Not that not that high, to be honest, for gaming and NFT. I'm very impressed already. I'm definitely going to have this on my radar as far as, like, if I would like to get some of this. Um, as a matter of fact, I just want to see where they actually selling sand what market is this is located on does it say Wait, am i missing something oh here it is the exchanges you can get the sand on binance i think this is a binance project actually yeah i think this is one of those binance smart chain project probably which hmm, i think it's going to be difficult to get this because Binance is blocked if you're a US user, so that's not a good look. So, anyway, that's one thing. Uh, let's take a look at the next one, number six, Ultra. Also 23 cents. Like I said, I have not looked at this. NFTX. Have not looked at this X either. Gala, number eight. One penny. I like the fact that it's one penny. I love stuff like that. So you can buy a lot of those, and when it go up, you can make pretty big money. Gala. Wax, seven cents. Bondly, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I had a chance to look at Bondly, guys, to be honest. I think this Bondly is definitely a go. Keep in mind, I don't have position in this yet. <laughs> Maybe if I save some money, I can get some Bondly. Bondly is a fantastic NFT project. If you look at the uh, the market cap, it's only 87 million. All-time high, 87 cents. All-time low, six cents. Again, where the hell was I at when it was six cents, right? Hmm. These are the exchanges where you can get Bondly from. Hotbit and Hotbit and Uniswap, and uh, supply one hundred and forty-six million. This is really low, guys. Only in uh, less than a billion. This is a really good buy on Bondly today. Eight percent down. Wow. Really, really good. As a matter of fact, I wanted to go over to uh, to the website to, to have y'all look at it because I think this is a very impressive uh, NFT project as well. Bondleaf.finance, and I think this is a part of the Polkadot uh, ecosystem, which is the or so power by Polkadot that is, and then and there's Logan Paul. Logan Paul collection is here as well. Which is, he has a huge follower. And they got all this stuff called Poker Pets. Poker Pets for sale. And that's so cool. Collectible cards. So Bondly is definitely, it's a portable peer-to-peer -peer exchange that enables trading across any chain through any medium. Get Bondly. So go to their website, guys, and read up Bondly.finance if you like. Um... And then you could stake this too, which is great. And the team has a great team. Um, let me see. These are the team of Bondi. It's good to see faces on the project, meaning they're not ashamed. <laughs> they're not ashamed of the project or whatever. So, yeah, so these look like it's a pretty strong team. So Bondi is definitely one of the NFT projects that I really dig. Um... I think for that price, it's really a steal. I mean, right? I mean, it's, it's really, really good. Again, go to their site and check it out yourself. And let's move on to the next one, because I already discussed the sand and uh, 
and Bonley. Okay, and uh, where am I missing? Bonley Wax, oh, Wax and Bonley, Axie Infinity Whale, Rareable. This is the one that I missed the boat on, guys. I had my eye on Rareable when it was like a dollar seventy-two. This is where they have to approve apps for NFT. A low circulating supply, only three billion. I should have jumped at that. Twenty-five billion. Twenty-five million is max. Three million is circulating supply. I'm very, very disappointed I didn't buy this when it was $1.72. It shot up to like 20 something dollars last week, which is insane return. And these are the places that you can get rareable from. Again, I don't have any position in this. You can get it from these exchanges if you like. Um, let's visit, visit their website right quick. I'm probably not going to be talking about all this. I think I'm going to stick to these three for now for this particular video. Um, because I'm getting tired, to be honest with you. <laughs> I hate to say it. But um, check out, just check out their um, their apps. That's what I was wanted to show y'all. Wow, I was using this on a mobile app, and it seemed like it's different from like a web base. So, oh, Explore. When you go to Explore, you can see this. Look how cool these NFTs are. On their website. Is this not the coolest ever? And so many people are using this site too. It's called, what is it called? App.rarable.com. So, so many NFT is here, and my internet is extremely slow. So you know what? I'm not gonna like freaking sit here and wait for it to load. <laughs> Y'all can just check it out when you get a chance. Um, this is a very, very good project. Uh, again, I'm very disappointed I didn't take a position in uh, in this particular project when it was like only a dollar seventy-two. Whoa! What? What a what a mess on my part, right? Oh, I'm really, really embarrassed by that. I even admit that I didn't get this. Cause I could have been like twenty x up on it already. Okay, it's my internet connection. It's freaking slowed as hell. So let's move on. And uh, so three things today that we actually discussed as far as NFT. I may do more NFT uh, review. It's not really a review. It's just really just talking to you about what, what, the, what NFT project I think is standing out from the rest. And these are the three. So as I mentioned, you got um, the Sand, Bondi, and Rarible. And I think there's one more that I want to discuss right before I stop this. I have tiny position. It's this Sharoom Finance. I think this Sharoom Finance is gonna. It's pretty decent for 30, 30 cents right now. I just want to bring up Sharoom marketing supply, circling supply of only fifty one million, max supply sixty five million, circulates fifty one million. So that's really really low. And uh, this is more like a fork of sushi swap, but it's going to be made for like uh, mainly focus on uh, NFT, NFT type of project or you know whatever listing it is on here. Um, you can follow them on Twitter, but still, let's look at the website. It's very unique and fun to look at the website. Um, I haven't really do. Uh, full research on these projects. It's just some of that project that stand out in my eye that I think will take off. I think Sharoom for 30 cent is definitely has room to grow. It's pretty new. Okay. So let me see what others. But like I said, there you here's where you can get Sharoom too right here. Let's zoom in so y'all can see this. These are the exchanges you get shroom from. Like I said, read up on their website when you get a chance after this video, guys, and uh, see what y'all think. Post comment on which one of these four projects that I mentioned or NFT NFT project that you think has potential to grow. Um, I mean, there's so many great great project out there. You know, you you can't have it all. You know what I mean? I hate to say it, you cannot have it all. Um, 
But there, there's a bunch of lists on there. You can go to coingeico.com as well to look at it. So I'm going to be calling this. Wow. Whoa. There are a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to actually look, research and look at it more. i tell you what, guys. Let's all look at this more and then post some comments or something. If there's any NFT that you recommend that you think is going to be taken off the next few months or this year. Beside the four that I just mentioned in this video. So anyway, I'm going to make this uh, it for this video. Because it's already over 20 minutes and I'm getting tired. So hit that subscribe button. Like my video when you get a chance. Alright, guys. Until next time. Peace.